This week on What to Watch, Housewives Drama returns to Beverly Hills, Joe Alwyn makes a new friend, and Gene Smart hits the road. Hey everyone, welcome to Entertainment Weekly's What to Watch. I am your host, EW Senior Editor, Jared Hall. Overwhelmed by the millions of TV shows and movies out there? I get it, that's why we're here, helping count down our top picks for you this week. Up first this week is the return of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Is that to make Erica look bad or is that out of genuine Erica, concern? I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. If we're going to talk about Erica's behavior, are we going to talk about everybody in this group? The women took a smaller break than usual between seasons because of the ongoing legal situation with Erica Jane and her soon-to-be ex-husband Tom Girardi because of that alleged fraud he committed through his law firm and whether she knew anything about it. But the season kicks off with all eyes on Dorit Kimsley when her home is broken into and she's held at gunpoint by robbers. It is a horrific incident and certainly an episode I think a lot of people are going to be tuning in for. You can catch that episode when the new season returns Wednesday, May 11th on Bravo with episodes streaming the next day on Peacock. We all know the way streaming works these days. Anything can happen. But for now, this week is your last chance to watch both Deadpool and Deadpool 2, which leave Hulu on Saturday, May 14th. The Ryan Reynolds action franchise is confirmed to return with a third movie, but details remain tightly under wraps. I'd like to talk to you about our next pick for this week. It is Conversations with Friends. Would it depress you to sleep with someone who loves someone else? Not if they love me too. The adaptation of Sally Rooney's best-selling novel of the same name centers on a group of four friends and the complicated relationships that develop between them. I know they're married, but I thought he was funny. Do you have a crush on her? <laughs> Obviously, I have a crush on her. I have this impulse to be available to you. One of them is played by Joe Alwyn, who you might also know as Taylor Swift's man. We talked to Alwyn about this highly anticipated limited series. I thought they were all complex, interesting characters, but you know they're all kind of brilliant in their own way and very flawed in their own way. And that's really relatable. It feels like, I think very much its own story and its own thing. It, it doesn't feel like it's trying to be normal people part two. The creative team behind the award-winning TV adaptation of Rooney's Normal People returns for this series, which promises to be just as intense. Conversations with Friends premieres Sunday, May 15th on Hulu. We have some laughs for you in our soundbite of the week, which comes to us from the film Senior Year, which debuts on Netflix Friday, May 13th. Steph, played by Rebel Wilson, was her high school cheer captain until a stunt gone wrong landed her in a 20-year coma. Now she's 37, wants to finish high school, primarily because she's trying to live out her dream of becoming prom queen. Priorities, am I right? Take a look. I had more fun going like this. <sighs> then there's high school. Our number one pick this week is one I have been patiently waiting for for a year. It is the return of Hacks. Could I take out one of your face creams? Looking for a spot for my kombucha. If it's not kept cold, it'll keep fermenting in the bottle and it can explode. Oh God, fine. Here, give it to me. Oh. You're right. It did explode. The Emmy-winning series is back and they're hitting the road. Deborah Vance, played by Jean Smart, goes on tour with her writer Ava, played by Hannah Einbinder, to workshop some new stand-up material. And there's also that little matter of whether Deborah will find out about the drunken email Ava sent about Deborah detailing some of her horrible behavior. Uh-oh. This show's incredible ensemble, Marcus, Jimmy, Damian, Kiki, DJ, Josefina, and Kayla, they're all back, and they're joined this time by Lori Metcalf, who plays tour manager Alice. My name's Alice, everybody calls me Weed. That's a nickname Pete Wentz gave me, and once Pete gives you a nickname, it, it sticks. So funny. Well, I recently spoke with the cast for our Around the Table video series about what fans can look forward to in season two. I mean, this season, there are moments that are 
mostly um, dramatic. Like we've always joked that this show is a dramedy. Um, <laughs> and it really is like the show really is like both and all the things because it is a reflection of life as we comedians see it, which is both. There is a duality there always in life. That is just how it is for us. That's how we make sense of the world. It's how we survive it. It is good stuff, I promise you. The first two episodes of Hacks drop Thursday, May 12th on HBO Max. It is already that point in the show where it's time for me to recap this week's What to Watch picks. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills returns Wednesday, May 11th on Bravo. Conversations with Friends premieres Sunday, May 15th on Hulu. And Hacks begins its second season Thursday, May 12th on HBO Max. And with that, it is a wrap on this week's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know what you think of this week's picks, and I would love to know what upcoming shows and movies you are excited about. You can tell us all about those in the comments below. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on those notifications so you don't miss an episode. You can also follow us on Twitter at EW and on Instagram at Entertainment Weekly, and you can also catch our daily What to Watch podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, wherever you listen to podcasts. And you can also get the latest info on all of your favorite TV shows and movies at EW.com. We will see you right back here next week on What to Watch. Alwyn, Alwyn, Alwyn. And what the, what, who? No, wait, I got nothing. I got nothing right now.